am Ajay Veer Singh. I work uh, primarily in the fashion industry of Sri Lanka. I'm closely associated with Colombo Fashion Week, and uh, I have a few brands. Uh, one is Arugambe Beachwear, one is String Hopper, and and also Sri Lanka's first ethical brand called Conscience. Uh, that's what I primarily do. My career, more more or less, uh, was in advertising. So I've been I've been doing that for the last what 16, 17 years now. And uh, while I did that as my day job, my real interest lied in fashion. And I saw synergy between the two because uh, you know advertising builds up brands. There's a lot of lot of uh, lot of imagery, lot of visualization, lot of things like that that come into place. And while I did that as my day job, uh, and my passion remained in, advertise, uh, in, in, in fashion, and I saw this huge vacuum in Sri Lanka where everything was more towards apparel industry and apparel. And people used to confuse that with fashion. But fashion itself is a strong creative industry, which I thought Sri Lanka had a huge, huge opportunity in, but no one was moving towards that. And obviously my background in advertising, uh, being a strong creative industry, helped me into getting that because I could visualize things much more e easily. You know, but it was uh, me and, and you know the team started uh, Colombo Fashion Week in 2003. And why we did that was we wanted to give young designers a platform to to move and pursue a career in fashion, not go into apparel while learning how to do fashion. Uh, fashion meets around the world are the most glamorous business meetings, right? So though people think of oh, this huge entertainment involved and things like that, it's not that. The fact is that it's a very cold-blooded business meeting. You have designers who showcase and buyers and media who buy and uh, communicate to the consumers what the new trends are. So that's what the, that's the role of any fashion week in the world. But in Colombo or in, in Sri Lanka, we, we kind of tweak Colombo Fashion Week around to, to uh, make it more relevant for the industry and for the environment here. So what we did was uh, we integrated it backwards. We started picking up young designers who had potential and we started going through the whole process with them throughout the year where we go through their sketches, their collections, and get them to do samples, right? And once we are satisfied that they are ready to show at Club of Fashion Week, we pick them. Sri Lanka as a society is quite international, uh, very international society. So what we thought was when we created a brand like Arugambe and two of our other brands, we wanted to make it very international. So the name might be Sri Lankan, right? But the whole feel, the whole philosophy, the whole DNA behind the brands are very international. Uh, a person who's wearing it in Paris or Milan or in Mumbai or in Singapore will feel at home wearing it there as he would if he was wearing it in Sri Lanka. The whole chaos that we have, you know, chaos of colors that we try to create, it's, it's very Sri Lankan. Yet it's very international, and that's been that's been our that's been our philosophy, our whole our whole thinking behind the brand. I didn't know what Pecha Kucha was. I couldn't even pronounce it for some time, so I called it PKM. Then Saskia came and told me, "Look at this website." And after I went through that whole thing, I think it's just fantastic what this event does. And I think you know, uh, I was talking about distraction in a society within the creative industry. I think these are the kind of events that can give you that traction. You know, where you, it's a meeting of minds among all the younger people who are you know, from various creative industries, they come, they share knowledge. Because idea is not restricted to one industry, it rotates, it can be taken as an inspiration in any of the industry that you work in. And I think uh, events like that, and especially uh, Pecha Kucha, or Pecha Kucha Nights, or Pecha Kucha, is a, is, a, is a good platform for that, you know, that for that idea to be passed around ideas, to be discussed and shared. And I think it's a perfect time in Sri Lanka to do that because I think um, all the creative industries, um, they need to feel that energy going forward. So I think it's fantastic and I think, you know, it has to, it has to, it'll work, definitely it'll work. Mm -hmm.